Hey guys, I'm Frequented World, and I am a sucker for punishment. I've ordered uh, Magic's Movie Studio 16, which used to be a Sony Vegas Movie Studio. I used that program uh, from about 2008 until last year when I got fed up with them not uh, updating the GPU rendering in the program. And I've done a bunch of uh, videos on my current program. My current editor of choice being PowerDirector 17, and that program renders immensely fast. However, there are a couple things I don't like about it. Um, the stabilization uh, function, meh, it doesn't work very good. Color Director 7, so that was a separate program that I bought. I'm actually paying for the 365 subscription for the PowerDirector, so I only have that for a year. I think I paid $60 for it, and I don't know if I'm going to renew it. I probably am, because for the last year, I've done all my YouTube videos in that program, but I'm not using the color director that I purchased because I just find it really slow, and it's not uh, syncing with PowerDirector 17 the way it should. It doesn't save the changes that I make. I've emailed support. I've been through the forums. I spent 30 hours on that. I'm done with that. I can make it work by using Color Director as a standalone uh, product, but that's not why I purchased it. So here I am, back into uh, Magic Movie Studio 16. We're gonna give it a go. I've got a vacation video that I'm working on. I just uh, spent a week and a half in Mexico, and I'm gonna do some rendering times. I've got some 4K clips to put in here, and I am hoping and praying that uh, Magic's Movie Studio 16 has finally integrated GPU rendering acceleration. I know it's they said it's been there the last you know three or four years with that program, but it's not really there. If you put in an old GTX 5 series card in your computer, it would render faster than this 1080 card that I have here, $800 card behind me, which is absolutely ridiculous. So we're gonna do some tests and find out if uh, version 16 Magic Move Magic's Movie Studio is any faster. The other thing I wanted to point out that uh, editing with PowerDirector 17, although it renders very fast, it is a lot slower because you've got to click on the keyboard and every time you've got to pick whether you're going to slide everything over. There is no there is no ripple editing in PowerDirector 17, which is very annoying and makes the process of actually editing and lining up all of your clips, that part is a lot slower. There's no quick uh, shortcut keys for like splicing and things like that. So there's some very minor uh, things that should be in that program that aren't. And I find it, uh, it's tedious to use. And that's another addition to the household. So when I'm editing, I have to be careful because he likes to lay right under my rolly chair. And I've hit him a couple times. So you got to watch the little guy. Okay, so I've installed Magic's Movie Studio 16. And for this video test, we're going to use 4K clips only. So I've just grabbed uh, 14 random clips from my Mexico vacation. And we're going to use these to test rendering times. The first stumbling block is that when we drop these 14 clips in, we've got to wait for proxy video files to be created. Uh, so we are on file 21 of 28. And we're somewhere probably around four minutes worth of me sitting here watching each one of these process. Just to show you guys down here in the corner, these are 4K clips. There's the information right there. And it says that there's 28 files because it's doing 14 video files and 14 audio files. What's the matter, boy? Are you bored with waiting for proxy files to render? Me too. I guess it should be noted that in PowerDirector you drop all of your files, including 4K files, right into the timeline and begin working immediately. You don't have to wait for any of this nonsense. Okay, so I've gone ahead and dropped all 14 of these uh, 4K clips into the timeline. And that gives us a video of just over 8 minutes and 30 some seconds, okay? And if I click anywhere on the timeline here, it is playing it in full 4K preview. So excellent. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to start um, render tests. And I'm going to show you guys I'm very familiar with this program. So the first thing we need to do is actually set up um, that we want to, to allow it to use the NVIDIA um, GPU and all of that. So we're going to go in here and we're actually going to make sure that all of those things are selected. 
So as we can see, uh, the default GPU acceleration of video processing is off. So we need to turn that on, and we have a GTX 1080, so we're going to turn that on. Um, we're not going to mess with the dynamic RAM preview. I've done many videos in the past showing, guys. We used to have an R9 card, and this uh, gave me nightmares, but we're not going to play with that for now until we test it just on its default. Okay, so we're actually going to have to restart the program for these uh, changes to take effect, so we'll click OK. Okay, initializing GPU acceleration just flashed by very briefly. I just wanted to show you guys that when we restarted the program, it turned it on. We're going to save uh, the movie to our hard drive. We're going to use MP4. Let's click on advanced options. And I've always found that the Sony, um, where is it? I see they have all new AVC Magix uh, series in here that wasn't here before. But the Sony AVC ones used to render probably the quickest. Let's see what we have for 4K options in here. Nothing. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, if we go down to the Sony XAVCS, they do have the 4K stuff in here. 60p, 30p, there's a million... Uh, options, but we're not going to use XAVCS because I clicked on the Magix AVC MP4 files and there's 4K right here. So we're going to do Internet 4K because I want this for YouTube at 29 frames a second. Now we just want to check and make sure that there isn't another hidden place here where we have to customize the template where we have to allow GPU acceleration. It used to be hidden in here under video. They had another little box that you had to check and most people didn't even know it was there. I don't see the box anywhere. We're just going to make sure that it's not. I don't see it. And we're going to use 48,000 BPS which is uh, the default. Let's see how long this file is going to take. I'll get back to you guys once it's done rendering. Okay, so when we reached 4%, the approximate time left started counting down. So it's telling me that we've rendered for a minute and a half, and we've got 29 minutes to go. That's not a great showing, considering we haven't done anything. There are no effects on any of these clips. We just dropped 8 minutes worth of clips in here. This is faster than the result we got from uh, uh, Magic's Movie Studio 15, but... I'm going to show you guys, when, when this is done rendering and we get a final time, I'm going to drop these exact same files in PowerDirector 17, and we're going to render it, and I'll show you guys how fast PowerDirector 17 does. And somebody has moved back under my chair again. Buddy, you're going to get rolled over. So, very briefly, I just, I'm going to mention to you guys that this is a Ryzen 8-core system, 2700, overclocked at 3.9 gigahertz. 32 gigabytes of RAM with a GTX 1080 card, not overclocked. What is it? <laughs> Get it. Get it. What is it? Okay, so I've had time to take the dog out for a pee, feed him, play with him, do my nails. And the render is just finishing up now. So we are looking at 29 minutes. Oh, still going. 29 minutes and 19 seconds. Okay, that was to render this file, which is 8 minutes and 32 seconds. It's 4K, 1.47 gigabytes. We'll just check it, make sure that it's playing fine.
Now we're going to render the same file in PowerDirector 17. So I've just dropped the uh, files into the Media Center and you can see that they turn green when they are rendered. So it is rendering files in the background, but you can click and use them right away uh, without getting a proxy file created. So that is one benefit. Okay. Okay, so we're going to select all of these, drop them down into the timeline, and then we're going to produce a 4K file and see how long it takes to render. We're going to use the AVC files as well. I've picked uh, 4K at 29 frames per second, and this is set to quality mode, not speed. Audio, stereo, so these are the exact same uh, preferences that we had for the movie studio. Okay, and here we go, we're going to start. Look at how fast this video gets rendered in this program. We're at 10% already. It's an unbelievable program in terms of speed. It does have uh, very rich features as well. I mean, there's no comparison for speed. But some of the basic editing things like shortcuts and things like that and being able to overlap files is just missing. Uh, ripple editing. Where are you, Power Director, for ripple editing? You need to get on that. If you put ripple editing in here, I probably wouldn't bother with uh, Vegas Movie Studio anymore. I can literally record this whole section for you guys so you know that I'm not making anything up. Okay, if we look down here at the bottom, you can see the elapsed time. One minute and 17 seconds, guys, for the exact same files. That took 30 minutes. Okay, let's check the file size and make sure that the file works. Here it is right here on the desktop. One point five nine gigabytes, so it's a little bit bigger. Everything is working, sound, audio. I mean, there's just no comparison uh, in terms of time. There it is, a quick and dirty comparison of 4K rendering times between Magic's Movie Studio 16 and PowerDirector 17. No comparison. We're about 30 times faster with PowerDirector 17. Um, Magic's, you just got to, you're going to have to up your game. Uh, in terms of features and everything, guys, we're not comparing that. But you can expect your regular uh, video uh, 1080p to render just as it, the same amount faster uh, than Magic's Movie Studio as well. And that's without any effects on there, guys. If we start throwing effects onto the timeline, that's really going to slow down your render times in uh, Magic's Movie Studio. So no comparison. Thanks for watching, guys.